record producer is a strange thing to define what it is because a lot of people tend to get studio engineering and record production totally mixed up. They think it's one and the same thing and it's actually not the same thing at all. A record producer is, is really a bit of an ideas man. You, you need to know about arranging music and you need to be quite diplomatic, which I'm not really. But I am in a studio, believe it or not. I'm, I'm like chalk and cheese, I'm a different person in the studio. Generally, I write the lyrics in the Royal Oak in Elsdon. Then I'll do these days, I'll doodle on the guitar or the piano for the tune. And then mix and match. In, in a big box of that's the lyrics and that's doodles. And if there's a specific job comes along, then I'll just put bit pieces together. Will You was a song I've had for years and I didn't want to show anyone because I thought it was too soppy. And that was like at the end of my writing for the film and they said, have you got a love song type thing? And I actually really didn't because Will You was not originally a love song. It was about a bomb that went off in Berkeley Square. And I'd been thinking how weird it is that somewhere a bomb goes off and somebody dies because I'd read that a man was eating his sarnies having his lunch break and the bomb went off and he was blown to smithereens. And at the same time, the irony that people are making babies elsewhere or babies are being born. And that was what the content of the song was originally about. Only the first verse was um, the same as the, the will you that ended up in the film. But then when they said they wanted a love song, I thought, OK, let's see. And I moved the song more into a, you know, I was going to say something really then, you know, a song for making love too. I've managed a couple of bands, but one of the first ones that obviously I did was, was these lot. And, you know, I know I'm sitting next to him and, you know, I don't want to blow his ego, but he's got a knack for writing ridiculously catchy choruses. And he used to just ring me up from the rehearsal room and he'd be like, yeah, we've written another two tonight. And I'd be just like, yeah, why? Like and I'd be sitting in his house. The, and com like, the conversation normally goes, though. I'll, I'll ring him and go, listen to this. Yeah. And then he'll go, yeah, it sounds like so-and-so, which it probably did, because we probably lifted it. <laughs> and then and then, ring him back in an hour, going, right, is it sound any, any less like that? Oh, yeah, a bit, yeah, and that sort of... You c couldn't really hear it on the on the phone, and you were either singing lyrics or just making shit up. But there was always a big chorus there, and you kind of built around that, for me, anyway, that's what it was. It makes me laugh now when I read about some of these bands going in the studio and they can't get the right guitar sound or the right drum sound, and it takes them weeks or months sometimes to get the right sound before they even put a note down. We went in at 10 o'clock, we sorted the songs out, we went in, it, it was Chapel Studio on this occasion, because... Um, uh, EMI, we couldn't get into EMI for whatever reasons. Probably the Beatles were in there or something. <laughs> but um, we um, went into Chapel Studio uh, 10 o'clock till 1, a break, 2 o'clock till 5, a break, 7 o'clock till 10. Finished, 12 songs, bang. And, there, and we came out with an album. I written a, a good song and I and I, I recorded it and I sorry I didn't release it and I gave it to um, Judy Boucher and she put it on a you know um, words can express this empty nest inside you don't know how I feel since you've been gone in this empty room memories lingers on I must confess my love I miss you since you've been gone cause love is not a game to play you can just break my heart and walk away please I'm begging you, come back, my dear, my love, and let us start anew. You know, things like that. Those kind of songs. And I got all those that I've written, you know, I like to put all of them on an LP and say, yes, this is me. That's what I've done.